All right, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earth Master here, May 6, 2024. It's about 10.33 p.m. California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 3.0 coming into the area of uh, Utah, it looks like. This area has seen a, a pretty significant swarm of activity in the last couple days. Uh, just 24 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. If we go back here the last couple days, that number bumps up a little bit here to about 61 or so. Uh, now this Bluebell study area, I haven't figured out what that is. Let me look here real quick. Bluebell um, study. study area. I was going to check this out earlier, but I want to wilderness study. So we'll have to check on that in a little bit, a little bit later here, but this kind of looks like Nevada and there might be many other uh, forms of that same name. I'll have to jump on that and uh, cover that in the morning. Either way, you know, we got about 61 earthquakes or so in this swarm that's going on. The largest magnitude so far was yesterday with a 4.4 magnitude earthquake. Now the latest one coming in is a 3.0. Something's going on out here. Um, to me, it looks like it's away from any major fault systems here around the Great Salt Lake area. Uh, there might be some faults running up here alongside this mountain range, but uh, specifically in this area is a little odd. And um, there's not a whole lot of detail here at the satellite imagery view of what could be taking place out here. There is some type of uh, road network. So I definitely like to know what's going on out here uh, in this area as far as the study area goes. Uh, if anyone knows, let me uh, let me know. Clue us in here on the video or in the comments below. Because uh, obviously there's some type of earthquake activity out here. Doesn't look like it's associated with any type of fault system though. At least that are listed on the map. Doesn't mean there isn't any, but uh, yeah, it's a little odd. A little separate swarming up here too around Mallard's uh, Malad City it looks like. Just off of this little fault system, the East Dayton uh east dayton oxford fault it looks like so we'll continue to watch that because uh it's a decent amount of swarming kicking up there recently uh, up here in idaho as well so it, it looks as though maybe this might be a regional stress event uh, along various fault systems up here because just off the uh sawtooth fault here i believe this is sawtooth fault um we're seeing a little bit of swarming as well here in the last 24 hours so Definitely uh, looking at some elevated activity. Let me check out the Yellowstone overview. There's not a whole lot here showing up. This reading on the map, the thickness, this blue blue clustering is uh, wind from earlier this evening and afternoon. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity showing up here on this map. Uh, as we look at to the uh, Pacific Northwest, a handful of smaller quakes there across Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. Northern California here at the extreme southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Got a deep earthquake there, 22 kilometers for a 2.1. Now let's check out the trimmer map here tonight, see what's going on here. Got about 20, uh, 246 epicenters of trimmer, not earthquakes, but trimmer. Here's the M energy uh, being um, associated with those trimmer counts. Uh, a little bit there in Northern California and some in Southern Oregon as well, uh, Southern Coast Range of Oregon. Uh, so we'll watch that area. It does look like we're seeing some highly um, stressed areas out here against the Southern end of the Cascadia recently. Uh, further down into the California area, a little bit of uh, micro quake activity there outside the Bodfish area, 2.4 and a couple other smaller quakes. Uh, Southern California right now not seeing any major activity. There's a little bit of swarming going on here around the Corona area in the last 24 hours, but uh, nothing big. The 2.5 map and above removes all those earthquakes except for one little one there south of the border. So uh, just, you know, seeing consistent activity out there, but nothing big for now. 
uh, out in Texas and uh, outside of San Antonio, way down here. Some oil fields getting hit, uh, quite a few oil fields out here in this area of Texas. In fact, Texas is just covered in oil fields. A lot of pumping operations out here in these little checkered boxes. Uh, a lot of holding tanks on those boxes as well, or at least on those, uh, those checkered satellite imagery. New Madrid seismic zone, quiet across the eastern portion of the country. One little earthquake in the North Carolina region. Also, way up here north in the New Jersey area, a little 1.9, continuing that little sequence here of aftershock activity from the uh, larger movement there last month. Uh, 5.3 off the coast of Russia, way up north here, away from the plate boundary, a little odd one. Um, still seeing some movement in the Ecuador area, very shallow earthquake activity here. Uh, mostly early this morning, about 8 o'clock or so my time. Uh, let's check in on the big island of Hawaii where it looks like we're starting to kick back up here in terms of earthquake activity. Got about 36 earthquakes here around the uh, just south of the summit and the upper east rift zone here of Kilauea Volcano. We have been watching that pretty closely because it's been going up and down in terms of activity here recently. Uh, the most recent update on Kilauea Volcano We'll run over to the USGS site and check that out real quick, and then we'll get to weather. I know it's been a pretty crazy night out there in Oklahoma. Hopefully everyone is safe uh, from that tornado activity earlier, and while well, it's still ongoing. Uh, here's the um, earthquake seismograph station here across the Kilauea volcano showing what looks like you know quite a bit of earthquake activity there coming back into the maps. Uh, the latest update here from USGS, which was put out today, shows that the volcano is currently not erupting. Uh, and seismicity continues beneath the upper east rift zone. Inflation continues in the caldera south of the crater area. Uh, this activity is similar to conditions at Kilauea prior to last week's period of heightened unrest. So things are just coming and going here. Um, you know, we got to watch this. Definitely uh, see what we got for ground deformation along with the earthquake activity. And that's kind of expected. Um, here's the past month, past two days. Notice things have kind of gone back up again here in terms of inflation along with the earthquake activity. We did have a little pause here around the third and fourth of this month, uh, indicating some stationary uh, and maybe even a little bit of deflation going on there along with lack of earthquake activity. But now, we're getting that further magma into the uh, area and earthquake activity and inflation going on. So kind of watching it. Just a matter of time here before this thing does something uh, either erupt or just maybe see another uh, huge magma displacement somewhere uh, away from the summit region. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the uh, map. USGS map here in the earthquake 3D globe. Some activity around Puerto Rico and the Caribbean plate. Uh, really nothing major going on. Still seeing some movement here across the South Sandwich Trench where uh, definitely got some activity stirring up. I've seen some posts out here uh, on one of these earthquake sites on uh, a social media page that there was a 7.5 earthquake out here. Um, when was that? Earlier today? Well, 7.5 is going to ring the bell like the earth. Well, ring, a, ring the earth like a bell. Goodness, it's been a long day and night. Um, and we would have noticed that coming across all the seismograph stations there, no matter where you're at on the, on the planet. Uh, and that wasn't the case. So some false information being sp uh, sent out. There was a little 4.7, but uh, that's a huge difference from a 7.5. So a lot of times people put out earthquake um, events before they get checked and verified. Mediterranean area, couple twos going on there. Clustering, got this typical clustering going on here across Taiwan, southward into the Philippines, and limited here to a portion of the Java Trench as well. Quite a few fours and threes, but uh, overall, not a whole lot of migration across this area for now. Uh, New Zealand, well underneath New Zealand, got a super deep 3.5 earthquake. So uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on things here. Uh, pretty active, but not overly active. Uh, let's check out space weather activity here from solarham.com. And we did see some long duration M flares here earlier this evening. That's gonna be these two events right here. Uh, looks like it was a fairly long event. Uh, not huge flares, but they were uh, flaring for quite a while. Uh, there's our X flare. 
uh, X4 uh, something, 4.5, I believe, from earlier this morning. Decent size X flare. Um, not for sure if that's got an earth directed component on it, though, far as any CME activity. Let's go check that real quick and see if anything's been updated. Uh, let's see here, five, 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 six. I'm sure there has been some events, but I don't think. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Nothing's listed up here on the map, so. Uh, no major CMEs, I guess, headed this way, unfortunately. I mean, it would be nice to see some auroras out there. The, the, uh, the last forecast was kind of a, a dud. Didn't really see too much auroras kick up. They were calling for a G2 class storm, and I think uh, we've seen a brief period of KP index up around the 5, but that was about it. So right now we got, uh, in the last 48 hours, three X flares and quite a few M flares in there as well. Uh, this thing is just, uh, some, flares, some flares are continuing amongst this sunspot. It's going to be 3663 up here now. This sunspot is rapidly continuing to go off here on the northwestern quadrant of the sun. Look at that. And uh, it's pretty much into position here where even if anything were to blast off, it would not be geo-effective in terms of CME activity. Uh, here's a ginormous sunspot here that uh, is getting some different core development here. We'll have to watch pretty closely. It is currently facing the Earth. That's 3664. And a companion there, 3668. That um, might harbor some potential there of uh, some stronger flaring here soon. Overall threat right now still remains elevated with a 50% chance for X flare. M flare at 90% chance and C flare at 99% certainty. Again, no major wars in the forecast, but uh, we'll continue to watch uh, these sunspots and see what they want to do out there. All right, as uh, far as the severe weather goes out here, we still have quite a bit of tornado warnings. Um, way up in the Missouri, and uh, there's one down here across the Oklahoma area as well. Uh, but this line is slowly but surely moving off to the east, northeast there, and bringing with it uh, obviously a quite noisy night along with these uh, uh, tornado potentials up here in Missouri. Now, this area of Missouri is underneath, uh, really not in that high zone, but more so in you know the enhanced and the slight risk category far as the enhanced or the uh, high risk area today i did hear about some uh, significant tornado activity and damage across um, a couple different communities unfortunately uh, here is the storm reports today from the um, storm prediction center 15 confirmed reports of tornadoes uh, wind report and hail reports in there as well. The red triangles indicative there of the uh, tornado activity. So uh, hopefully everyone uh, had prior warning and um, you know damage here is kept to a medium. But there was there was definitely a town out here. I can't remember the exact name there in Oklahoma that got hit pretty hard. Uh, Barnsdale right here. Uh, there was multiple reports of structural damage and multiple chaser photos and videos of a tornado in and near the Barnsdale, Oklahoma area. Uh, so obviously, the, uh, the National Weather Service will be sent out there to do a uh, survey and uh, document what uh, took place out there. And we'll get a better view of that as far as uh, the strength of these tornadoes in the days ahead. But for now, again, we still got uh, kind of kind of a crazy night to deal with. Um, but once that line passes, I think we'll be good. Uh, just got to get through that. As uh, far as tomorrow goes, this uh, activity shifts further to the east, northeast here around Ohio and whatnot. There is a 10% hatched area out there across um, areas of Ohio. Uh, Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky, and the Le Lexington area of Kentucky as well. Uh, the, that's the hatched area, but there's there's a broad region here. That severe weather is going to kick up through the night and into the day tomorrow, so just heads up. Got some wind and hell 
threats in there as well. All right, folks, I am going to call it a night. A little on the tired side. I still have, I don't think I've ever recovered back from that 10 day road, road trip out here um, because chasing storms and watching, you know, the severe weather out there is not really relaxing <laughs> unless, unless you got time to um, enjoy it. You know, I, I don't mind the thunderstorm stuff like that, but the tornado activity can de uh, definitely be a little on the uh, sketchy side here. And at night, nighttime tornadoes are absolutely horrible catching people off guard and whatnot out there so anyway hope for the best um hopefully damage loss of life was kept to a minimum here today because there was definitely quite a bit of advance warning um for the uh, t tornado um potential that was in the forecast for today all right uh let's see what else i think that's about it 1.9 in Hawaii so we'll continue to watch the uh, volcano there and uh, you know overall seismic activity here on a moderate level really nothing elevated a couple different swarms here in weird locations but uh, uh, is that another three-pointer coming in or is that the same one I think that's the same one yeah up there in the the uh, Utah area Again, if anyone knows what that place is up there, let me know. It's a Blue Bell study area. I'll see if I can find some information in the morning as well. But uh, a Google search reveals, looks like maybe there's more than one Blue Bell study area across various states out here. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back out here uh, sometime tomorrow for the Tuesday Tuesday morning update. Take care.